On the right, we have a photograph of a model taken in our studio. We used a single light source. We paid little attention to how the light would fall on the background, and we really did no type of fill-in light on the side of her face. On the left-hand side is the doctored image, the image after we opened it up in camera raw, made some corrections, and then in Photoshop, dropped in a background. I'm going to show you the steps that I would go through to make all these considerations. So here's our model. You can see that it's a very bland background. That's exactly what we wanted. And I can make some color adjustments by going to the white balance tool here and beginning to just click around. We know the background should be a gray, but once I do that, I'm not too pleased with how the, the color of the skin is being rendered. I have some options over here, and I can certainly fine-tune it in Photoshop, but let's just go ahead and change this color temperature slider here and give it a little bit more life and a little bit warmer tone. So even though the background's going to a different tone, I'm still just looking at the color on her face. Now, we can use all of these that can help us adjust this picture. I'll play with them a little bit, but that's not my intention to solve this within these, uh, within this little workspace. So I'm going to open up the shadows a little bit. I'm going to change the brights. I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. But what I'd like you to really pay attention to is this clarity slider. This is something that we're going to use as an adjustment brush, not overall as the complete clarity uh, that I'm going to show you right now. Let me just bump this up a little bit so you can see it better. But when I grab this clarity slider, if I drag this to the left, it just really smooths out the skin. And if I take it real far, it gives it this type of glow. Now I want that, I want a portion of that. I don't want that to happen everywhere. And that's why I'll do it in the adjustment brush. But this is the best way for me to show you how much uh, of, of an effect it can have on the image. Now, I may have shown you some examples where there's a trend in portraiture photography to actually take this in the opposite direction. And I've seen images of these uh, football athletes that are trying to look very rugged, and they uh, take this clarity slider all the way up to the right and give us this almost an HDR kind of look. Right now, it's certainly uh, not to her benefit that we do this to her. So. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and start to do some of the touch-up uh, work, and I'm going to start with this little spot removal. And when I create this radius, you can see that I have this circle and this feather point. I'm not going to do the uh, opacity all the way up. I like to do this a couple of times. And again, if I would like to see what I'm going, where I'm heading with this, I'll make this a little bit bigger here. I can use my hand tool when I put down the, uh, the spacebar key. So let me get back here to the spot removal tool, and I'll make that a little bit smaller. You can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make it bigger and smaller. But essentially, as soon as you click on something, you can see that we have the red circle, and it grabs from the green circle and puts it in that place. So if I was unhappy with what it put in there, I can just grab the green circle and move that around. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to hit a couple of these spots that I think are uh, a little bit, these blemishes that should we should remove. And let's see, I could remove the pierced ears here as well. And use the spacebar key to move it around a little bit, hit a couple other little spots. You have to be careful where that you have to observe where it grabs the the other skin and it's going to replace it. Um, so now I'm going to go to the adjustment brush, and these adjustment brushes here we have the exposure, the contrast. Now be careful because all of these sometimes the exposure comes in automatically, but if you double click on the little triangle, it resets it to the center. I can also use my bracket keys to go up and down again. So what I would like to do would be to create a new adjustment and I'm going to click on these eyes and actually I'll lay down uh, I'll lay down a, a click here and once it's laid down you can see that I can adjust that click by traveling along with the slider so I move that up so I brought a little bit into the eyes 
I'm not going to go over here and do it to this one because I need to make a new. I click new and then I can go over and I can click in this area. So I can brighten up the eyes a little bit over there. It's too high, so I can just drag that back down again. We make a new adjustment brush. For this new adjustment brush, I'm going to open up this side of the face. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger of a brush. And then I'm going to paint around. And once, as I say, as I lay this down, I can then go back and I can adjust this as you can see where that's taking place. I'm going to fit this in the screen again so I can see what it looks like here. I've made that. Now these little pins and stuff like that, I can hide those so I can hit the, um, the, uh, the show the pins or I can show, that shows where I've been working so I can release that. I can go ahead and also do this with the shadows now. I'll make another, every time you do this you have to make a new one. And I could go up with the shadows, and I'm going to increase the shadows here. And I'm just going to scroll around and try to make up some of this hair a little bit lighter. Uh, I went a little too far with that. Um, Apple Z undid that. Make another new adjustment brush. So I make these new ones all the time. And you can see I can open up a little bit. I'm going to make another new one. I'm going to drag the exposure down on this one, and I'm going to try to bring down some skin tone that we, and also I think that's a little bit bright. The hand is a little bright. Well, now, so this is where this clarity slider comes in. So I'm going to hit the new, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here so I can see it again. Click on the hand brush, and go back to the brush. And I'm going to double click on everything, make sure it's all evened out. And now with the clarity slider, this is how I'm going to use that clarity slider, because here I can go in and paint these areas. So instead of affecting the uh, eyes, which I don't want to have receive the clarity glow, I'm just painting this in. And once that's laid out, I can control this clarity slider and I can really fine-tune where that falls. So let me do a little bit under the eye right here. So I'm pretty happy with that. I, I could just keep on traveling around this by making all these new layers and double-clicking this clarity out again, but if I wanted to do something with the saturation for the eyes, using the bracket keys to come down. I can hit the eyes a little bit here and over here. That'll increase the saturation there. Give me a little bit more. So I'm happy with this. Uh, I'm going to uh, pause this. I'll open this up and I'll, I'll start the, um, the next video in, um, with this image open.